I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So I have been preparing to enchant this uh, set of glass gear that I made for myself um, earlier. And what I'm going to be doing is co basically copying the enchantments that I've chosen to apply to my current set of gear onto it. So for my shield, I go with magic resistance. But because I get to have two enchantments now, I will also put on Fortify Health. So this isn't actually the most ideal shield. I would rather have it also buff uh, blocking, but I have not yet found an item that I can disenchant to learn that uh, enchantment. And I'm giving these the My4 prefix because I think I might have made a My3 item at some point. So for helmet, I'm going with Magicka Regeneration and something else. And that something else, I guess, is going to be archery. And, uh... For my boots, I'm going to go with, uh, right now, looks like I don't have a lot of options. I never have cared a lot about stamina regeneration, but let's see what I can actually put on these things. Yeah, nothing all that amazingly useful. Could do two stamina things. Yeah, I really am gonna have to learn new boot enchantments at some point. These are replacing gloves that just in improve bow damage. So, archery and uh, I guess I'll improve my light armor skill with these two. It's probably not uh, an enchantment that I'll keep with sequels to these, but it's good enough for now. And the last thing I believe is my set of armor, which are glass. Glass armor is replacing armor that just improves my magic of regeneration. So... And the second effect I will put on these is... Hmm... I could make Conjuration cheaper. That might be a good choice. Conjuration 
cheaper by 25, or I can boost magic over generation even more. I think I'll, I'll do this combination effect. So, my four armor of M regen 72, because 62 plus 10, conj 15. And that's my gear. Still have one spare. So I guess maybe on the way back I'll improve one of my rings or something like that. But for now, let's get all suited up. And, uh, and then we have a lot of sales to manage. Bit of a pain in the butt. Um, see. I don't have any rings on me, do I? No, probably not. Yeah, unfortunately I only have one Grand Soul uh, left, and I have two ring slots and an armor slot to think about. Plus, my smithing skill might not or might now be uh, good enough that I might not still be able to get any training from this guy uh, from a Balamund. But I will find out. You could say that the Ratway is the city under the city, dark. Dangerous. No place for decent folk. Just like my bed. <laughs> or no, that's not really how that joke works. Oh well. And looks like this guy is still hanging out here. So we have some chatting to do. Take a look. Yeah, he took the uh, training option off of the, uh, well, off of the table. So... And all this stuff is just too expensive for him to keep buying. So I'm at 642 out of 525. Okay, so I'm going to need to see if Jizargo can carry enough stuff to let me uh, fast travel to another town to continue my trip of sales. So... It's also probably worth noting that I am going to be selling my entire uh, my, my crafting set as well because it's just uh, it's not worth uh, it's not worth wearing anymore. Uh, I guess I probably should take all the robes back from him because I might stop by the uh, the castle and see if I can. Uh, Trade some of that to um, to what's her name for more soul gems. But yeah, I'm at least able to move quick again. Actually, it would make sense to. Uh, oh, that wouldn't work. I don't yet have the speech perk that lets me sell anything to anyone. If I did, then it would make a lot of sense to swing by the alchemy um, shop back in Whiterun, I think. Take a look. Anyhow, let's sell the stuff we don't need. Staff of...
I guess we have a few things that we can uh, extra soul gems are always happy to have 1371 so I'll buy some filled ones okay that should do I guess she is going to let us take some of the stuff here. And not frost salt, uh, frost salt, which is fine. Actually, she may have had some spell books that would be useful buying. They're useful to buy. Um, no, nothing, nothing that amazing. Oh well. So, we're heading over to... Well, let's head over to Riverwood and... Um, yeah, basically, as soon as we can start to invest with this guy, He's going to be our go-to guy to sell everything, but we're not that close to uh, to that point. I think we're two, per uh, two perks from it. And there might be some more impor important perks to think about before taking uh, those two. Hmm, that's weird. It's a very weird shield having it be curved that way. I would worry about being ripped from one's hands. I mean, I guess it does have that pokey bit leaning forwards that you might be able to stab someone with in certain circumstances, although it would... I don't know how strong those webby looking things sticking out of... Uh, sticking out of the pokey bit are. It's a weird design for a shield. It's 1 a.m. And uh, just have to wait until morning. That is not long enough to wait. This might might do. Okay, so he is open. Cool. It's always weird to seeing... I'm used to him having lots and lots of uh, gold to buy stuff. But... He doesn't, at least not now. Ten lock picks. That's that's helpful. Well, going to travel to actually we have another quest to take care of in town so we will do that You're new around here. what was it in the inn Because if I was being followed, then I seriously inconvenienced whoever was following me that far. Yeah, it's not looking... Okay, let's close the door. If you want to keep it secret, you should at least bother to close the door in a small inn. 
figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. Huh. That would be a bad idea. I'd be too likely to attract the wrong kind of attention. The Thalmor I can get you into one of those parties. I have a contact. His name is Malborn. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Malborn is... While you're doing that, meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? That's when the fun... Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her file. Sounds good. Careful. Okay. Good. Chisargo, you have to back all the way up. Move, move, move. 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 Keep moving. Dude. Dude. Okay. Okay, so we have more to sell. White Run, uh, White Run seems like a decent place because there are two armors merchants and a general store. Okay, so merchant number one. You're someone who can take a look. Okay, we can get rid of our old gilded armor. I'm not actually sure which of these things I wore at some point. Does she have any enchanted weapons that I want? Some of these enchantments may be new, but they're not looking necessarily oh uh, wielding I don't think I've learned this effect yet I don't think I have so I will buy it to disenchant it don't forget to check inside the shop okay I'll head in I'm not sure if this guy has a separate gold pool or if they buy and sell from the same amount but or from the same pretty much anything to suit no it looks like he has a separate one good doesn't it'd be nice if these guys were not so poor I don't mind losing a little bit good doing business with you maybe he he might have something I want to buy too let's see Blades, helmets pretty much anything to suit your needs I don't see anything of banishing okay Nothing else I particularly need. You tried mercenary work? That suits you. You know what's wrong with Skyrim. Let me know if you see anything you like. Every take a look. Okay, more stuff to sell. And he can't afford that. But he has some lock picks, lesser soul gem. Hmm. That helps a bit. Let's see. Oh well, Dude, I guess. And 
and uh, uh, not sure if there's anything that she'll be willing to buy, but can't hurt to uh, to find out. I can get rid of some more of these. And I think I can teach you a thing or two. Take some more alchemy and sell some more of those. Oh wow, that gave her quite a lot more uh gave her quite a lot more than I anticipated. But that's okay, because this is a good opportunity to sell things I don't need. If that is too weak to be all that significant, pretty soon I'll be able to cast spells that will give me that, hopefully. I don't use that. I have plenty of carrying capacity. Too much more cheese. Um, to save a little bit of the meat. Don't need potatoes or raw legs or really very much of this. Okay. Yeah, that worked okay. Let's see how we're doing on, what was it, speech? This helps, because now I can sell her the gear. gives us a certain added flexibility in uh, managing all of this. As a matter of fact, I think I can teach you a thing or two. I can actually very carefully try to get some more free leveling out of this. Well, free is the wrong word, but more loving it, uh, leveling its compensation out of this. Okay. And, um... Let's see if Jizargo is carrying... Did I give him anything? Let's see. give him that. That's weird. Hmm. Well, in any case, I'm going to need to improve his armor soonish. Maybe a hardy Nord like you... Take a look. Okay. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Take a look.
Yeah, this is definitely the uh, the point where the game suddenly has a shift in how well you can manage things because. Now I should be pretty decent at decent for gold uh, for a while. Every single time I get a soul gem from now on, it'll be uh, like a little fountain of uh, of wealth. Good. So that's all I can do with her right now. But yeah, uh, so what we're going to hope that we can manage is to, every single time we, we level up, we would like to be able to, we would like to be able to train five times. The cost of that will keep on going up, but we shouldn't be too, be, uh, we shouldn't be doing too bad for, uh, for money from, from now on. Skyforge steel is all the companions will use. Gods be praised. And once we have enough of a surplus, we should be able to go through and, um, and just uh, swing into town, buy up all of the uh, crafting materials, and, uh, and craft as much as we can to level the rest of the way. So we're good. And, uh, yeah, things are good. Again, our only complaint is that our rings and amulet are pretty lousy right now. But once we get enough uh, grand soul gems, we can take care of that. Man, that guy is so annoying. So, I am going to finally once there aren't any guards around I'm going to see if I can take care of this Do have to wait for that eye to close? Which might it might not close because okay there we go. It's kind of tricky to get a vantage where people won't see me. That's a goofy thing. Well, maybe we'll take care of it some other time. Oh, did I have anything more to sell? No, but I did have something to disenchant. Uh, the Amulet of Wielding, which improves one-handed skill. Inward. 
Okay, so... It is always a good enchantment to know. Particularly when you're using one-handed weapons. I wonder where the court mage is. Oh, he's there. Hey, dude. Ferengar is his name? Seems yeah. Damnable hmm. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. Okay, I'm still not seeing anything that I particularly want to have. Maybe Control Flame Atronach would be useful. And I can sell them uh, my scrolls, I think. I have quite a few of those. Well, I guess that's all he can afford right now. So. That's looking good. So we're done with Black Reach. We don't, strictly speaking, need to do the Mage's College quests. Um. We could progress on the Mage's College uh, quest. Whoa! How did that happen? And how did... Well, that was weird. Still doing it. Shoot. Okay, well, I definitely wasn't hidden well enough for that. And, unfortunately, Jizargo is... So I want to go surrender to a guard. Oh, shoot. Apparently that was not good enough. out of town. Oh, okay, that was also not good enough. Sometimes you have to, uh... Okay, eventually this will finish loading, I hope. The warm 
Sandoval Square is far away from here. The air is so... I wonder if... Yeah, I can do fast traveling. That should hopefully teleport Chizargo with me uh, out of the fight. That's a problem with the follower. It it can be very hard to surrender to guards because they might not stop fighting. Okay, Jazargo, where are you? Are you with me? Let's see. Don't suppose you did for a dragon to attack Kynesmoor. Why? Why there? There's no place safe. Okay, so maybe I'm cool with the guards in general, but not cool uh, with them in the city right now. It should be fine. I guess what I'll do actually is I'll start the war quest line. So for the next few adventures, I, uh, or adventures, I'm going to be um, participating in a number of battles on behalf of the Empire to put down the Stormcloak Rebellion. Unfortunately, this is a quest that tends to glitch out a lot. But uh, I'm hoping that if you've at least progressed far enough in the um, in the Greybeard uh, quest line, that the glitching out won't happen. But nobody is really all that sure why, when, and why the glitching out uh, works. Okay, Jizargo, you are with me. That's good. So the first task that they asked me to do some time back was to clear out a fort of, I think, bandits. Solitude wouldn't be the same without the fire festival. City owes you a debt of gratitude. Well, thank you. So we are heading a good ways west. better set of choices. But I'm just hoping that I'll be generally observant enough to spot enemies in time to summon a bow for myself. how we're doing. So Mount Kilcreath, that's a kind of involved quest. It's fun, but it is not fast by any means. I think I heard a dragon, maybe. Yes, apparently I did. Okay, so now I am going to... So 
I'm going to flame at Trinok. I'm not sure if the dragon is approaching me or if it's just flying overhead. Also, if it's a flame type dragon, then it's not all that useful to uh, summon a, a, a flame type elementally thing to fight it, but we'll see. Dragon is still visible there, but it has not decided to approach me. There are hey. dragons about, then you've seen them too. We lost our. Thank you, Traveler. Be safe, and Thank don't you for forget to keep an eye on the sky. Oh, good luck, peeps. And there you can kind of see one of the moons of Tam Look Tamriel. Look at my temple lying in ruins. So much for the constancy of mortals, their crafts and their hearts. Okay. If they love me not, how can my love reach them? I basically just want to swing by there to put this on my map. I will head back there and take care of that line of quests at some point. But for now, we are going to head north and mostly west. Well, but we have two quests to do in this cave. It's almost due west. Maybe I'll take a detour over there. Still headed in the right direction? Yeah, it's just a little ways off. So let us keep moving. This is weird. It's a pond that happens to have a fast travel marker. see an entrance down there. Okay, here we go. Pine Moon Cave. And there are two things to do down here. Neither of them all that amazingly interesting, but... I should say that was a wolf. Okay, so yes. Looks like this is the way. And what is going on down? Vampire fledgling. Oh, Jisargo! That is the second time you have done that. Oh, and I caught a vampire disease. Great. Well, actually, I guess that isn't too bad, in that I might decide to do the vampire line of quests. Okay, but... Vampires can go invisible, but if you're careful, you can actually spot. Huh, they've been reading about me. Nice. Okay, 
but we're getting sudden and weird slowdown. And it's It's possible that the game just need to compute something or load a lot of stuff from disk or something like that because the recording software I'm using does take a lot of um, it does write a lot of stuff to the disk and it competes with the game for loading and saving its stuff There's another thing that we're down here for, and looks like it's straight ahead. Uh, yes, and skill book for illusion, always nice. And I'm betting that whatever it is, Grand Staff of Charming. Okay, that is what we need to give. What's his name? So yeah, we're done here. And we're going to head out, and uh, that will be a nice breaking point for, for this episode. Notice that we were inside it. Disargo. Disargo has heard of the staff of Magnus. Anyhow, uh, I'm Pat Con, and that was a let's play.